there, so we're back in my living room and that must mean one thing. It's my second lip filler vlog. So it's two weeks exactly to the day since I had my um, one mil of lip filler and um, Botox around my eyes. So I'm going back to the clinic that I got the procedures done this morning so that she can just check everything out to make sure her work is good and I do also have just a, a one actually just one concern that I just wanted to um, speak to her about because in my first vlog I mentioned that I was really really concerned about the little lumps and bumps that I had and when I was kind of looking online to see if that was normal should I massage them? Should I not massage them? I, I never really got a definitive answer. And I know I phoned the clinic and she said, massage them. But then she also said, don't touch them. So it, it was quite contradictory. So I'm going to just see what my, what do you call it? What my lady would recommend and, you know, just see, see how she can explain it. So I have one main predominant lump that is really um pissing me off actually and it's this one i don't know like you can't really see it too well if i'm just i think talking but um if i smile oh it's not really doing it today oh god damn it that's like you know when you've been ill for two weeks and you finally decide to make a doctor's appointment so you go to the doctors and at that moment, when you sit down in the doctor's office, all of a sudden, you're not faking ill anymore. And I feel like he's at the same thing. Um, but if I just lift my top lip up, you can kind of see there's a definite like lump there. And I can feel it's kind of like, it just kind of feels like a small lump. I'm going to ask her about that and maybe see if she could try and massage it a little bit. There, are, There is a lot of information online that if you over massage lip filler lumps, you can dissolve the filler and, you know, just waste all of your money. And that was like the main reason why I was kind of reluctant not to over massage. Um, but hopefully today we're going to get some answers on that. So I'll definitely like update you. So yeah, that's the only issue for me is that lump. Other than that, I'm really, really happy with the look of my lips. They feel super comfortable now. They definitely feel like part of my face again. I've got full movement. You know, I can smile. Um, even though the Botox is really trying to not let me smile but I can I'm winning at the smile game right now I never thought I would be in battle with Botox to smile but this is just one of the many things I've learned in this process so yeah I feel like you know the lips are doing really really well this is how they're going to be hopefully for the next up I don't know up to six months and I'm really really happy with everything so it, it's just gonna be really interesting to see what she says about the lump but i will update you after i have spoken to her so this is what the lips are looking like now the top lip is definitely looking a little bit larger than the bottom lip and i kind of i think i'd prefer that if they were a bit more balanced out um because I think it would look a bit more natural, maybe if the bottom lip was a bit bigger. Other than that, I'm really, really happy with everything. This is the side look. And this is the smile. Ta -ta -ta. Anyway, guys, I'll update you when we get back. See you on the other side. Okay, so I am back home now and um, the appointment only lasted about five minutes. I expressed my concerns about, it's not really that my lips are lumpy, it's just that I've got a rather large lump here and then another one over on this side. So she took a look at them, had a little bit of a feel about and she kind of like massaged them and she asked if it was painful and I was like, well, yeah, actually, not like hugely painful, like I wanted to kick her in the face to get her off but it was definitely like tender and she said that it's a bruise because she was saying if it was if the lump was made up of filler that just kind of collected up into a lump or a bump or just like something she said that 
it wouldn't be painful at all uh, to the touch but um, because it was painful she thinks it's a bruise at the injection site and also um, she said that it looks like a blood vessel has potentially burst because uh, she could see like a little bit of a burst blood vessel but ultimately she said it wasn't anything to worry about it would probably take a little longer to heal because if uh, the blood vessel has been damaged then it you know it will take a bit of time to kind of recover itself but she said that it certainly wasn't anything to worry about everything was was looking and feeling fine other than that i did say to her that i had a, um, a conflict as to whether i should be massaging my lips because i'd read conflicting reports and the most shocking report that was the report that actually really stopped me from massaging my lips was one that said that if you massage them you can dissolve the filler so i asked her if that was true and she said no she said that's an urban legend well she didn't say an urban legend but i'm saying it's an urban legend the only thing that she is aware of kind of messing with lip fillers well actually two things one is you know drinking through a straw for the first few days after getting lip fillers in or drinking from a sports bottle just anything that's making your mouth go like this i mean that eliminates a few things doesn't it guys like so she said that's number one and also number two she said that she had a client one time who got lumpy lips and she found out that the client had been putting lip plumping gloss on and she was saying why are you putting that on you've just had your lips plumped why are you putting lip plumping gloss on but apparently that must have maybe I don't know, done, done something negative. So all in all, the appointment went really, really well today. As I said earlier, the lips are generally just feeling really, really comfortable. Um, I just feel like they're my lips, like these are my new lips, my 2.0 lips. So yeah, everything's going really well there, but I would say it definitely took a week and a half for them to really start feeling comfortable and feeling like I, you know I had all the movement in them and everything but I must say I'm, I'm really enjoying them so unless I have anything else to update I probably won't really be making any more videos about my lip fillers um because I feel like I've kind of said everything that needs to be said maybe like further down the line in a few months I'll do an update to let you know kind of how long they lasted for etc or maybe at that point I may have some other updates to talk about but for now I think that I am done talking about my lip fillers but if you do have any questions or if there's anything that you're just really interested to know about don't hesitate to comment down below and I will respond to your questions or if there's a lot of questions I, you never know I might just do a Q&A so anyway thank you so much for sharing this new experience with me I know that not everybody have been you know 100% into lip fillers and that's fine but I really do appreciate that the vast majority of people that have watched my videos and seen my instagram photos and everything have have just been totally supportive so thank you so much for that and um yeah i'll see you in the next video that won't be about lip fillers some of you might like to know so anyway guys i'll see you soon bye i didn't know how to end the video i was like i don't know bye anyway see you soon bye bye oh my gosh bye